1998, done over 5,000 fights. So please, as you say, anything that he says must go. Uh, again, a massive round of applause for all the fighters. I mean, it's been a nightmare card for you, Sir. Maybe 13 fighters pull out, but all the teams, the managers have done really well this time. Really pulled me out of trouble. So, a massive round of applause for all the fighters and managers. <laughs> but we're going to start with questions with two unbeaten fighters, both very, very young. In the bad man Martel and Max Noon. So, any question for these two guys? Both have got everything to lose tomorrow, and both have got everything to win for. Yes, Jim. Nice and loud. So far in your career, you've done a lot of um, by ground and pound. So Max has shown that he can stand up against Flash and his fight. Is this a comparing and having you training and looking forward to this fight? So what are you saying? That I can't. What are you saying? <laughs> 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 no, I don't care. I'm. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. Do you know what I mean? Max is well rounded. So am I. What's going to happen is going to happen, do you know what I mean? If I take him down, he gets back up, then we'll punch him in his face. I was going to say, this is a very angry Ian Martell. I've never seen so angry. You know what I mean? All I'm saying is that it's a fight. So what, if you can get back up, you know, fair play to him, but I'll take him back down. If I'm going to stand with him, I'll, I'll stand with him. So, yeah, I don't care. I'll walk over here to young Max. Max Lewis. Any questions for young Max? Question. If both one of you two are going to win tomorrow, will you be looking at Vassal or Mr. Chapman? Yeah, I'll be definitely looking at the winner of the main event. Any more questions for these two new guys? Well, they're not new, but young. Young and hungry. No? Right, let's move on to Ben Callum. Oh, hang on, Jay, boss me the Boss me the champ. Ben Callum and our Lithuanian friend over there. Any questions, please? <coughs> yes, Jim, sorry. What he said was, he just changed his strength and conditioning. Yeah? Can he talk about it? Is it top secret or James Bond? He's going to talk about it? He's going to let it all go. Right, yeah. Hang on, Radcliffe's over there. be watching you carefully as well, won't you? <laughs> yeah, no, I changed over my uh, conditioning. I'm training with uh, Andrew Marshall now. And uh, the villain, villain strength team got a good few guys there. He's made me so much stronger, so much faster than I've, than I've ever been. So it's, it's a good move. And I'm only getting stronger, only getting faster. And just for me, uh, you were going to fight Mark Weir, yeah. uh, absolute legend. That just shows the kind of calibre you're going to step up to. Has it upset your game plan fighting this new guy? No, it's just upset me. <laughs> Not my game plan, but he really upset me because I really wanted that fight. That like, big time now. I didn't get the fight, but no one's got to pay for that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad he stepped in for that fight. Do you know what I mean? I'm really happy that he stepped in. This young man. Can you pronounce your name for me for tomorrow night? Pronounce your name, sir? Uh, sorry, my English is not perfect, yeah, but I show uh, tomorrow what I can do. Then. My English is not perfect, sorry. He said he's going to smash the life out of you. That's Tran <laughs> translated, Ben, that's what it sounded like to me. <laughs> Any more questions for these two guys? Yes, Jim. <laughs> okay, moving on to MVP, the UK one who's going to challenge for the championship, but now it's a super fight title, Mr. Michael Venom Page. Any questions for Michael Page? Oh, sorry, I mean, cheer on, grab your ear, bruv. Any fight, yep. you know what I mean? When every time you go in there, you, there's the objective is to win, and both people are, 
not do the same thing, so you just got to do what you got to do. Yeah, he's also signed, if you didn't know, to Bellator as well. Oh, yeah, and, and they've given permission for Mike to fight on UC MMA. We get him some nice fights where he can, you know, just keep going and going. It's, it's a big signing. Uh, Bellator, big signing. Yes, sir. Sorry, how's that going to go in terms of fighting with UC MMA? Are you going to continue to fight with UC MMA while you're in the Super Fight League? Are you still going to be? Uh, to be honest, again, it's, it's going to be down to my coaches and what they want, and also uh, both shows. If they allow me to do. Um, and it's timed well between fights, and they allow me to come back here. I'd, I'd love to come back here and try and do fights here. And he does the show, home crowd, what it's all about, mate. MVP. But listen, there is a man over here. I'm going to have to jog over here on the back. Because I, the, the guy had four different opponents Jefferson George. Give him a massive round of applause because he stood up. But then we have run away. Jefferson, what was in your mind when you said yes? Uh, it was a good fight. I've seen him fight on YouTube, so you know, I just wanted to test him out. Shut up my skills. So, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do it. Any questions for Jefferson George? Yes, sir. Jefferson, how do you train for a fight like Michael Page? Uh, I could you train for him? He likes to dance about. Do some dancing myself. <laughs> 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 Any more questions? or? Yeah, it's in the back of my mind. I don't really I concentrate on that at the moment, just on the fight. And once the fight is finished, then I can concentrate on that. Nice. Yes, sir. No, I, I, I know Peter. Peter's pulled his back here, yeah, I know. No, Peter, all right, just to make it clear, they've always got their backs in here. I love this. Yeah, Peter Irving has got really bad. It was all the other guys that stepped up. Sorry. Okay, moving on now. We are now introducing the flyweight title into UCMMA. Spencer Hewitt versus Giorgio Andrews. Again, a massive fight. Any questions for these guys? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I worked, I've worked, had more time to work on more things. Um, I've been wanting to fight Giorgio for over a year now. Um, and now I get what I want at the weight I want. So it's everything I want now, when I want. Well, it's the, I, feel, I feel I've still got the element of surprise because, you know, I can stand up, I can take it to the ground. Um, I'm strong everywhere, so, you know, they, it's, it's, they've got me training and worrying about where I'm going to take it as well as I'm going to be thinking about where he wants to take it as well. But I, I believe I can take it wherever I want. Okay, we're going to Georgia Andrews. Georgia has been known and nicknamed, sorry. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Spencer again, yeah? Spencer today, Georgia, I don't care about you. Yeah, um, the better the opponent, the better I perform at a better training camp. So, the higher caliber component, the best you're going to see out of me. Um, Giorgio is very aggressive, and that's his style. Um, he comes out all games blazing, um, which is okay. Again, guys who are not used to that, but you know, I've been there, I've seen it, and um, I actually want him to come out aggressive to me, and uh, he'll walk onto something. Well, George has been known to be called Mighty Mouse in his gym because he's fighting and sparring with guys, middleweights, light heavyweights, and he's got the strength from that atom bomb. He's never been beaten. He's a bantamweight champion, and he's now challenging for the flyweight. So, any questions for George? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You've been looking nervous today. Is there any reason you've been looking so nervous? I'm absolutely running scared right now. Very scared, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put out, but I think it's a bit, a little bit too late now. I kind of got myself into this somehow. I don't know how I did, but yes, yeah, yeah, really scared. Yes. Uh, obviously, you've been fighting um, at a higher weight class for for most of your career. Um, do you feel that flyweight is your natural home, and do you feel that you know it's possible to fight better and make more? 
Flyweight's always been my natural home. Um, I just had to protect the fights because the division wasn't there. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on some of my weight. I'm looking forward to explode. There's going to be some fireworks tomorrow. Um, I'm also looking forward to the fact that, put it this way, everybody I've ever fought is going to finish me and they're going to do this and they're going to do that. Here's another one. Thank you for being my 9-0. And, and I just like to say that, definitely, this is his weight. He walks around at this kind of weight and he's always fighting above his weight class. So I used to say, yeah, my little son Dexter, he's the same weight as you. You know, he don't put weight back on. So this is his weight class, as 100%. Chris Fink, manager of managers. Yes, sir. He's done for a span in the works already. You've got a band of weight here. You, listen, you've got the band of weight champ, you've got the interim champion. Let's sort out when this fight's done. Don't do my nutting. Come on, mate. Hang on, who, who's sitting there? There's a few of them, yeah. Nathan, Jody, Collar, oh, they're all there. They all off the belt, they're all off the belt, Giorgio. Hang on. Let's remember who the champ is. Let's remember who the interim champ is. Now, if the, if the real champ wasn't injured, the interim champ would not even exist. And he's just lucky to have what's rightfully mine and always has been. Mm. Spence, you want to say anything to that? Um, well, we'll see what's going on tomorrow night, and uh, I'll be having both belts. Um, and I look forward to fighting Giorgio Andrews. I've been studying a lot, and... Um, we have watching a lot of telly and I think he looks a lot like Louis Spence. Um, so, I'm looking forward to being up a Louis Spence look a lot. Okay, um, great. Let me just recollect something. Um, all this talking, when that K door shuts, it's just me and this guy. And the, the amount of talking you've done and the amount of talking you're going to do, you're just going to have to shut your mouth when you're fighting. Secondly, I'm not the guy who's taking... What was my last fight against a guy who was 0 and 16 in boxing? Yes, and that was 0 and 0 in MMA. Now that guy is 0 and 1. Um, my second pro fight was against Ryan Shamrock. Ken Shamrock's son. As much as everyone was saying 19... Yeah, bad hand. Yeah, yeah, bad hand. Oh, oh, oh. The mouse is still going. Tomorrow when that door closes... Just me and Spencer Hewitt. That's it. I will say, I was at Cage Rage. In fact, oh, yeah, you spoke Cage Rage. I was at Cage Rage that time. They never give, they wanted a bum for Ken, uh, for Sharon Rock to beat up. We give him Georgia, and they soon found out what the little dynamo mouse was all about. And again, how much did he weigh more than you then? Four or five kilos? Yeah, he probably had four or five kilos, hadn't he? Round of applause for Georgia. Every Spencer, well done. Chug, chug, chug. Okay, we're now down to the big boys, the light heavyweights in the house. Any questions for Linton or Mr. Chapman? Jake. Uh, Mr. Chapman, That's a good question. You know yourself, how hard work, Jake. Yeah. Um, it's one thing after another. This is partly the reason why I'm considering retiring. Uh, muscle don't move. Um, I've worked around them. I've done the best I can. Uh, I feel comfortable with them. But you, you know what they're like. <laughs> I was going to say, hats off to all the fighters. This is the toughest sport in the world. You guys work day in, day out, week in, week out. And really, hats off to all of you because you really are champions from, the, from right the very bottom fight right to the top. Well done, guys. Right, Linton Vassal, any questions? Are you shitting me? <laughs> No, I ain't, I ain't worried about records at the end of the day. The early numbers, it's two people that go in there and there's got to be one winner. And that's going to be me tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously, I, the last outing was a big step. I was saying to myself, I just want to do the best I can do. Because I wasn't sure if I was anywhere near that level. Things are a lot different now. Things are a lot different. The guys I've been trained with, the guy we call Big Dave, he hits like a tank. You don't hit as I do. I spar with Pete Mercer. You ain't as good as one. I've got a wrestling guy that I train with. He's also a purple band jiu jitsu. He's a phenomenal gradual. And his wrestling's better than yours. I've got the best SC coach I've ever met. 
I've got a top nutritionist, I've got the best facility in the country, I've got the best team, I've got the best family, I've got the best of everything. There ain't a light heavyweight in this country as strong as I am. So I reckon you're pretty fucked. <laughs> Well, it's definitely ain't the kids' press conference. Little, 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 little,